In this video, we analyze Dana's standing posture. You notice in the posterior view, Dana presents with left scapular winging from the prominence of her medial scapular border. Although the winging and standing posture may indicate weakness of the serratus anterior, a winging observation in a loaded position, such as a plank, or during movement, such as elevating her shoulder or placing a laundry basket on a table, is a better indicator for serratus anterior insufficiency. When analyzing Dana's plank position, you can also notice scapular winging. One way to objectively measure the winging is using a T-bar ruler. If the medial border protrudes more than three centimeters or one inch from the thorax, scapular winging is indicated. It is also important to note that a flattened thoracic spine and hypertrophied subscapularis muscle can give an appearance of a winged scapula. How do we change Dana's winging in that plank position? You can use an active symptom modification procedure as well as a passive one. Let's go ahead and see what that looks like. A modification to the plank may be to ask Dana to protract her scapula into a scapular plus position. This will decrease the amount of winging and engage the serratus anterior muscles. Additionally, she can widen her base of support to take stress and pressure off of her scapular stabilizers. 